The book is the story of Finn Bardolan, who's a copywriter at a big New York ad agency. It's right around the eve of his 40th birthday, and about eight months before, he canceled his wedding. He also finds out um, from his uh, brothers and sister, uh, from whom he is estranged, uh, that their father is dying. At the same time, at work, he is tasked with coming up with uh, a Super Bowl commercial for the account he works on in a very short amount of time. Um, and so he has some decisions to make. Can, are we able to put under this Stephen King? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, legally, I don't, I don't, do I don't know if we can legally do that. <laughs> I mean, I can we talk to him? I was an incredibly successful 28-year-old caddy working also at a coffee shop and needed a real job. And I put together a portfolio of ads and I uh, shopped them around to different agencies in Boston, which pathetically used a photo of my 18-month-old nephew with the headline, uh, please give my uncle a job or I'll cry. Um, and <clears throat> amazingly, I actually got a job from that, uh, the lowest of the low uh, writer at uh, a really great agency in Boston, um, and worked my way up a little bit, and eventually moved to New York um, and worked for about 10 years at Ogilvy and Mather. Can I smoke? Smoke? I mean, I don't smoke, but can I? <laughs> Advertising can be a really interesting job because you sit around all day and make things up. Where that's a problem for Finn is that he does that outside of work. He begins to tell himself stories. He rescripts things. He changes events. He adds a music track. He changes the ending, which is fine for commercial, but uh, it's not so good in the real world. Ask me state capitals. There's not a state capital I don't know. Montana? Helena. The book takes place in an ad agency, but I think a major theme of the book is family. If you're fortunate enough to stay close to your family, it's a wonderful gift, but um, certainly for Finn, he has no f family with whom he shares a last name, but I think we find families. Well, why did you, I mean, why did you decide to write a book that has so much humor? Money. <laughs> I don't think that's the answer. I did this for money. Well, then you're in the wrong place. I have made so much money off of this book. I used to try to convince myself, that's really funny. There's only one way of knowing, and that's if I laugh at it. <laughs> yeah, we're not in one. Okay, South Dakota. Pierre. Right. The only state whose state capital has none of the letters in it that the actual state. Oh, really? That I just don't Whoa. Know. Whoa. I like South Dakota. I had fun Whoa. driving through.